What up guys, Joaquin here. In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about things I do for language learning. Uh, so I, I mentioned I've been learning Greek for a while and like this is kind of how I've been doing it. So, um, you know, to begin, you have to learn the Greek alphabet. So the first thing that I did is I actually just went to Google and searched Greek alphabet. So you can do that, um, Greek alphabet. Greek alphabet and yeah so all I did was <clears throat> I I think I printed one of these things off and just went down the line and I found one that you know I could read um, I want one with both the upper and lower case so here we go so I just downloaded this and I read like I, I wrote it down every day for a couple weeks maybe and that was all I did I did it took uh, you know, I wrote it down two or three times each day, but, you know, I just went through Alpha, Vita, um, oh, sorry, Alpha, Vita, Yama, Delta, Epsilon. I watched some videos on YouTube of of uh, people saying the alphabet, like preferably Greek speakers saying the alphabet. So if I go to my YouTube account, um, I can show you um, things saved there. Um, what is it? Um, Greek... Alphabet, a bit, and you can get a song. Some of these are probably better than others. I I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a while ago since I watched any of these, and you can just listen to that, and they will kind of go through it. Um, but the one of the big things I've been doing after that was that I started doing Duolingo, and lots of people have different opinions on Duolingo. Um, I'm gonna go out of Duolingo. The way that I did it was that I did these first few um, things to the until they were gold. So there's five levels on a Duolingo. And you can see like there's 45 lessons. And that also goes through the alphabet. So you really could just start out on this and just do Duolingo for the alphabet. But I felt like writing it down by hand was very beneficial. And this actually helped me get used to reading. So... Um, after I got through this first level, I didn't really do as many of them to gold. I don't know why I did these to gold, but um, I just started going down through and finishing out the, the tree. So the tree actually is longer now. I still have the old tree, and they've updated it. Um, in the future, you, you probably, everyone will start out with the longer, more updated tree, but I, just for whatever reason, haven't been put over to that yet. So Duolingo is a free resource, and if you get by the paid plus account, I think it's like, mine was like $75 for a year. So less than 10, you know, a lot less than $10 per month. Um, but uh, let's see, that would be 75 divided by 12 is, so like $6 per month. Um, so it's a pretty good deal. If you don't want to pay that, you don't have to, but you'll get hearts then. And when you miss things, you only can miss five questions per day, and then you won't be able to do any more lessons unless you're on the desktop. On the desktop, you get all of the features, regardless of whether it's a paid account or not. So if you're doing it all on desktop, you probably really don't need to um, pay for the Plus account. But if you're using the app, primarily and you want to keep using it then it probably is beneficial so i actually have found uh, this to be a really good resource in helping me learn to read get me more integrated into modern greek um, i probably won't do it all until it's gold um, i've been using it for uh, i mean off and on different time periods but in total i've used it about five months i'll probably finish it out until everything's at these are at two crowns, these green ones. I've only done to one crown on all the blue ones, but I did finish it. And I'll probably do it until these are green, and then I, I probably won't use it that much anymore because, you know, it, it's a limited amount. But when they update the tree and I get the updated version, I may continue using it then, but only, only for that reason so I can see what else has been added to it. So if you're doing, you know, each of these lessons take approximately five to six minutes to do or so. If you're doing it really fast, it might be more it might be a little less than five minutes um but yeah so they take about that um so is uh, what is it iskesimas when i turn on this on i think you guys hear the the speaker but i actually can't hear that um very well so 
I don't know. It's just because of what I'm recording. When I'm not recording, I hear it the same way that you're probably hearing it on the screen right now. Yes. But esquecimos our relationship. So, oh no, <laughs> I clicked on thing. Our relationship, and I got it correct. Move on. We are a couple. I know imes. Imes. Im imes. Um. Imes. Imes. We are. Zevgari. Zevgari. Okay. Emis imaste zevgari. So. Oli anthropi. Okay, all the people. Or all, all men. Anthropi. Everyone. Uh, everyone. I think they want all people. All the people. Yeah, so sometimes. Oli you kind of have to be discerning about what's given. Um, yeah, so, anyways. Um, this is the app. This is the mobile version. The desktop version, I think, is better in many ways. But, you know, I, I don't have access. And I can't record videos as easily on my desktop as I can on my phone. So this is just one thing that I'm doing. Um, to, I'm also using Netflix, which I have created a account that was in Greek. And I, I changed the display language to Greek so that I could get, you know, things dubbed in Greek that wouldn't be available in English. Not all these things are in Greek, but I've kind of gone through and tried to find the things that were and created. Uh, Ilistamu means my my list. And uh, not all these, not even all these shows are in Greek, but uh, they, a lot of them are. And I, I just saved anything that I could find that was in Greek and... Um, yeah, so, like, this is a show that's in Greek. It's dubbed in Greek, anyways. It wasn't originally in Greek. And I want to tell you a story. My planet has been stolen. No, maybe it's not. The planet. Um, yeah, that would be in... If that was in Greek, it would be playing that in Greek right now. So, um, maybe maybe I was wrong about that one. Uh, I know Christmas Chronicles, that's a movie. Um, that's in Greek. And again, it wasn't originally in Greek. It was, you know, in English, but they dubbed it in Greek. Um, if I had native content on Netflix that I could watch and go through, that would be great. I know a couple of these shows, like Troy, I have not watched, but I don't know anything about it. Maybe it's a good show. Maybe it's not a great show. I don't, I don't know. But it... Um, it is not in Greek. I actually saved that because I want to take the transcript and read it and um, translate that for reading purposes. Um, I know Hinterland is, it's a Welsh show and it's not in um, Greek, but it is dubbed in Greek, or uh, no, it's not dubbed, it uh, has Greek subtitles. So that's just a show I like to watch. And so I watch it with English um, voices and then I read the Greek transcript with it while it's watching. So that's, um, you know, something. Uh, this show, uh, <laughs> The Troll Hunters, um, that is... We're so late, our kids are going to have detention. Come on, come on, Tobes. Beneath your feet, that was there in is a Greek. secret world. Huh. Realization where good trolls live. You can see how it's, that's kind of, I, I watch it in English, but it was actually in Greek. I'm not sure why it's not now let's see here's my thing yeah it says the voice should be in greek and the um the subtitles hypotically should be in aglica in english but the trailer was the opposite let's go and see what happens okay yeah so it is in greek um i don't know why some of the, sometimes the trailers don't cooperate with following the same pattern but anyway so that's something that i do i watch shows i watch the entire show in greek with english subtitles and then i go back and i do each individual show again and i, I do that again i watch it in greek with english subtitles and then the next day i watch it in english i'm mean, sorry i watch it in in greek with no subtitles so that way you know i i know the show i know what they're saying really well and i'll probably keep doing that with a lot of those same shows um a lot of them are cartoons uh, that's I, I mean I, I don't think like it needs to be a cartoon but you know on Netflix 
Um, there's not a lot of native Greek content, and there's not, and most of the shows that are dubbed are in our cartoons. So, you know, I like cartoons. That's that's not too much of a problem, but um, you know, it's not necessarily my preference. This show up here, um, this is called The Monkey King, and um, it's actually an Australian show, and I, I find like a lot of the Australian shows actually have. Um, shows dubbed in in uh, in Greek, so I, I don't know why that is, but there must be like a, a fair Greek population in uh, Australia, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so those are two things that I do. I watch a lot of uh, programs in modern Greek, and I do um, Duolingo. Now, I think this actually helps out a lot if you want to learn Biblical Greek as well, though, or, or Kini Greek, uh, English speakers will say Koine Greek, uh, the Greek of the New Testament and of the, and really of the Septuagint as well, the Old Testament. And to do that, I also follow a similar method, similar pattern. And eventually I'll stop doing Duolingo and I'll just start using Memorize exclusively. But I don't like the programs that are in Memorize. I, I would not use any of those to... Um, to learn because they're all just individual words and I, I don't really enjoy sitting down and doing vocabulary lists. There's nothing fun about that at all. So I created my own and this is only for the Bible so far and I haven't even started doing anything with it. Previously, I, I made a short series where I went through um, the Gospel of John, the like the first introduction part. The um, uh, It says, in the beginning was the Word and the Word was God. In um, archi in ologos in ologos proston theon, so like I made a, a series on that. This follows the exact same pattern. I, I use the same resources. If I'm down here, I'm um, get. I don't need that right now. Oh, where's my Bible at? Okay, so I've been reading through the epistles of John, or I'm sorry, this is the Gospel of John. I've been reading through the Gospel of John. Erchete yeni ectis simarias. Sima, Samarias. That was correct. Okay. So comes a woman out of Samaria. And Antlese Idor. Uh, to draw water. Legi afti oisus dos mi pin iar mathite. Um, and I, as I read through that, I'm just, I don't read it in English and Greek. I just read it in Greek and. I am kind of glancing down at those English words to try to, um, you know, try to know what it says, try to understand the message that's being communicated in it. And that's it. So, um, you know, that's one trick I've been doing to, to learn that. And then I, I haven't started this course yet. I've been making this course, but this is the epistles of John. So I'm, I'm sticking with John because John will probably use similar vocabulary. He'll, you know, he has a, a specific writing style. So it's good to stick with one author. Um, and then, so uh, you can see like, these are just phrases, short phrases and things. Like it's it's the past, it's the, the book of John, of First John. And like each one of these, as you read down it, is the text of First John. But I've created it like flashcards and it will put them kind of like Duolingo in a, um, you know, it's teaching to me kind of in this order, but it will pop up periodically to remind me of these words and I'll have to go through them again after I've learned them. And I haven't started doing that yet. So I'm primarily been focused on modern Greek all the way up until now. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to start doing a lot more of both modern and, and biblical Greek. Um, so that I learn both. That's kind of uh, one of my goals was that I, in studying Greek, I, I want to be able to listen to um, Greek teachers and people that um, are, you know, teaching scripture in Greek, like Gre from Greece, like the, the priests that I follow from Greece. Um, Christianos 777 is a, is a Greek channel that I, I like. There's a few, I'll go to my YouTube channel and see, you guys can see all the crazy stuff I follow. Um, this is a language learning guy here, Mark Heckham. Um, but there are like Greek channels that I follow. Um, the skeptic theory, that's, I don't watch them quite as much though. 
um, Thresquia Gepisti, this channel right here, they um, post a lot of videos on just the feasts of the church and, you know, the saints of the day, um, the saints that we remember and commemorate on that day and um, services and things like that. They're usually pretty short videos, like five minutes, so I'll try to listen and follow along. Um, this is a Catholic channel, Return to Tradition. Um, Trisagian Films. Uh, there's Patristic Nectar Films. Timcast. Um, what do you, what do you, what do you meme? I, I don't know what that guy's name pertains to, but he's like a Protestant Christian. He brings up political topics and things like that sometimes. Um, Damien Pizzuti, that's a weightlifting channel, but is what I actually wanted to come back and, and check out this program that he posted. But, um, yeah, I, I mostly just was trying to find the, the, uh, the things that I have for that. Uh, this Maria Sam Samartzi, she's, I think, I don't know if she's Greek or Turkish, but she speaks Greek. And I, I just listen and see if I can understand anything she says. Um, Orthodox teaching of the elders. I don't know. This is another language learning guy, first thousand hours. Um, Orthodox review. Oh, Christino777. This is actually what I was looking for. So they post a lot of things. They actually post a lot of articles. Uh, so sometimes I will actually download their articles into Link and um, and read through them. So I'll, I'll read the, the, the transcript. Uh, you don't have to do that. You can actually just download transcripts and use Google Translate to do them. But I have Link uh, and I paid for it. So I, I just use it because it's convenient. So anyways, that's probably more information than you guys wanted to know, but that's it. You guys take it easy. Well, actually, before I go, I will show you an example of of that. I might have finished the ones that I've done for um, uh, Christian 777 but here are, are these. Um, some of these are, th this was one of the shows that I had in Netflix, and I've read through them as well. And if I click on it and go to the first episode, um, I can pull up the full transcript, and there, that's the whole thing. This is the show, the entire show, every word spoken in it, and I could read that, but, you know, you can also read individual sentences and go through. I'm at the end right now. Uh, you could go through, and the yellow is words that I do not know and um, am working on. So, mono y var... Varvori, only, I think only the barbarians, yeah, only barbarians drink an un, unadulterated wine. So, mano e varvori, pinun aneroto crassi. So, I know crassi, I could actually move that to my known words. Um, but, anyways, so that's it. I'll, I'll leave you guys off there. Take it easy, and I'll talk to you soon.